And first responders are put to the test, both physically and mentally, every single day. Research shows they are 10 times more likely to consider suicide than any other working professional. Our Natalie Painter joins us this morning. And Natalie, there is a local fire department who is taking mental health really seriously. Yeah, Jody, that's right. The Clive Fire Department does a mental health check-in with their firefighters once a year. Now, the department says this is because mental and physical health are equally important. Every year, we're required to go get a physical done, and they check our blood work. They check our ability to bend, our ability to lift. You know, if you get injured, you go off work, you come back on, you have to go through a physical, and you have to be able to lift so much weight, move so much, and stretch so much, and be able to perform your job. Well, nobody ever talked about the mental aspect of it, being able to mentally cope with everything. Um, fire and EMS, uh, law enforcement, first responders have a horrible background of suicide. So this became kind of a way to talk, and maybe the psychologist... Uh, can look at, at look and figure out what's going on and maybe you have some precursors to that. Now the program is called PAC which stands for Proactive Annual Check-In and it's been in effect for a year. Right now it is funded by the CARES Act but the city will take over after the grant runs out. Members of the department say that having the opportunity to establish a relationship with a mental health provider makes it easier to talk about what is bothering them on a personal or professional level. Clive Fire Chief Rick Rowe says that this program works well because it's tangible and consistent, and not just a list of suggestions. You go back 10, 15 years ago in public safety, if you told somebody you were going to go visit with a mental health professional, there was just a negative uh, stigma that, that came with that. And we're trying to we're trying to normalize it. We we think that we've made good grounds that way, and I don't I don't believe for a minute that any of our employees would not reach out to uh, our mental health professional if they were having issues. Now the department says that it is the only one like this in the metro who has a program like this, but the Clive Police Department is thinking about implementing something similar, Jody. I think it's a fantastic idea and hopefully they can meet more than just one time a year. A really great resource for the gals and uh, guys who, who need it in that profession. Thanks so much, Natalie.